machine here with the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Now let's try charging the Rivian R1T. I'm gonna use the Rivian's mobile charger in my 30 amp generator twist connect to 1450 adapter. Okay, like I did yesterday, I'm gonna start off with the minimum eight amps. Now I have the EcoFlow GFCI RCD support enabled. Okay, I've got the Rivian mobile charger connected. I set the vehicle's charge rate to 8 amps. Now let's turn on the 240 volt inverter. Okay, got white lights and then green flashing white. Let's see what happens. Charging has started. Okay, let's bump the current up to 10 amps. Okay, 2.1 kilowatts, no issues with EcoFlow. Okay, now let's bring her up to 15 amps. Doesn't let me, I'm gonna go to 16. Here we go, 3.38 kilowatts. And let's leave it here and let it charge till the battery's depleted. Okay, at 31 minutes, we've added 1.5 kilowatt hours. Estimating only 2.5 miles because the suspension is in high. Okay, we're down to 3%. The fans are definitely spinning up on the Delta Pro 3. Okay, so I added 3.2 kilowatt hours to the Rivian with the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Here are the charge metrics from Teslab. This Rivian has the large pack, which is 130 kilowatt hours. So we only added about 2%. Now that's somewhere between six to eight miles of real world range. So this would definitely be helpful in an emergency to avoid calling a tow truck. Now I'll put a link to the Delta Pro 3 below if you'd like to purchase. As well as a link to the 30 amp adapter I'm using. Now I'm recharging the Delta Pro 3 using the EV Extreme adapter and my ChargePoint Home Flex. But I'll make another video recharging it from the Rivian's 120 volt inverter. Stay tuned for that. And remember to like and subscribe for more videos about EcoFlow, Rivian, Tesla, Wi-Fi, and tech products.